All right, I'm combining two days of reflection with one video here. I'm out in the barn. That's Betty behind me and Patrick. He was in one of the other videos from last weekend. He kind of likes to hang out close, especially if I'm sitting on the ground. I think that's his guard llama nature. I didn't get any silence worked into my routine yesterday. And I have a little bit of regret about that because I feel feel like the silence I have been putting in my routine for the over one month prior to that is what helped me or one of the things that helped me with having such a wonderful fun time last night playing music. My husband and I had both been asked to be guest musicians in a tribute concert and we each played or sang. I played accordion on a couple of songs. I'm hoping Patrick doesn't walk past my mic cord. <laughs> I need to invest in a wireless mic for my phone, I think. <laughs> Can you scooch over there a little bit, sweetie? <laughs> He's not happy about that. <laughs> okay, where was I? Lots of fun last night playing music. And I feel like having included the silence in the routine has been so important in me capturing awareness of my thoughts and letting, <laughs> not, not letting things, thoughts get away from me. I sometimes have some confidence issues with playing music especially when I'm around a lot of other musicians that are, I, I think, rock star quality. And I was around several musicians like that last night as they had invited in a lot of guests. So between the band plus their guests, my hubby, there was a lot of talent coming on and off the stage last night. And I did catch myself being a little bit almost out of control nervous <laughs> about my part and but the difference the, the difference being with this work in silence having meditation silence whatever you <laughs> like to do I do some of both it's helping me be more aware of those thoughts when they cross my mind and kind of helping me contain them and go wait a minute that's not going to serve me in this next thing I'm about to be doing. And I also last night did a little bit of like self-motivating talk like Tony Robbins teaches. I don't know if you've ever listened to any of the Tony Robbins audio programs or recordings of his uh, speaking at conferences. I've got a few of those uh, in my office and I put them, put them on on occasion or I'll listen to his podcast. And so I did some of that in just the few moments right before I went on stage. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I, I felt like it helped me through a couple little spots, what could have been rough spots in the performance. And of course, all of this is happening really fast. But it's like I had a little bit better control of my brain, you know, being able to open a file drawer I needed in a hurry. And I was so grateful for that. Well, I did get silence in today. I didn't do it this morning. So I actually got up this morning and played music first. So I'm, I'm doing a little bit of that, like going with what my heart is telling me as a part of the routine. And just was really feeling like playing music. So I did that. And then I played music this morning uh, at church and put my silence in this afternoon, late afternoon, as the sun was setting, I was sitting out in one of our pony sheds and it was cold. <laughs> I had to fight the cold just a little bit, uh, but it was worth it. It was so beautiful to watch the sun go down out there. And now I'm out here hanging out with these wonderful guys. Can you tell how peaceful the llamas are? I'm also looking at the barn that I need to clean because <laughs> I didn't do that this morning. So that'll be next on my list. This, I feel like kind of a, I've got a new week in front of me. I'm going to 
build the silence or meditation time back into my morning routine. I really do think that's ideal. But I, I love the creative things that come when you put it at other parts, or put it in other parts of your day. Or at least that's hap- been happening for me. So I just share that to offer you some encouragement if you're kind of experimenting with all of this. You know, don't beat yourself up if it, it doesn't, if you don't get it in whatever part of your routine you wanted to add it and you decide to put it somewhere else in your day. I think anywhere you put it, there's benefit. And tonight it just felt like this beautiful unwinding and peaceful time in nature Even being out in the chilly air, there was something peaceful about that. I don't think I'd want to do it for too long, but (laughs) but it was, even that was beautiful. I really do appreciate you being here with me. I'm glad that I could share the llamas with you. My sweet guard llama, Patrick, right here. He was born on our farm in 2012. His mama is Heartsong, who's the lead llama of our farm. And we so loved his dad. His dad is no longer with us, but his name was Moss Cheree. And he was a great big llama and so full of love. And Betty back there, she's right right there, chewing her cud. She's a sweetie. Her registered name is I Believe. We believe you, Betty. Another sweetie. I love you. I believe in you. Take care.